Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Um, this video is about using Tinkercad to combine this and this to get this. So basically just fusing them together in Tinkercad. Okay, let's go. Okay guys, first thing you want to do is go into Tinkercad on your web browser. I'll have a link down below. Um, you'll get the screen up here. From there, you want to go into um, sign up or login. If you're going to sign up, we'll just ask for all your details and chuck them all in. And then personal account, and then you can log in with your Google one if you want to sign in with your own separate ID. I usually just use Google. Sign into things and I don't have to remember all the passwords. Once you're in there, there's this little create button here. So you push down create and go 3D design. <clears throat> and once it opens up, you want to go over in the right hand corner here. You want to go into this import and ask you to choose a file. So you choose the files that you want to get. And I want to get the Bowden cube fixed one. So these are two files that I um, demonstrated in my last video so that we put on, on the K1 Max. And I thought mm, <clears throat> maybe we can bind the two together. It would be a lot better item than just the one. Ask you whether you want to work in millimeters or inches. Um, we go there only the Americans will want to use inches. <laughs> Rest of us use millimeters and import. Oh, there they both are. Cool. So we've got the two here. Now what I want to do is shear off this top of this one and put that one where that one is. So what you can do, if you get it, I'm just dragging it around with my right mouse button. You can move it around. And this one over here, this grade box over here on the right hand side, that is a delete key basically. <laughs> and the shape you've got there, a cylinder shape or a square shape that you can delete with. So I'm going to select that. Oh, before I do that, sorry, I'm going to make the plane. So this, if I can select, get out of there. If I select this one up the top here, I can make that where I want to put things. Like it'll it'll make that the um the active plane. So I want to make the active plane the top of this item here. Yeah, so if you grab the plane and then you drag it on top, I want it to go on top of this little item where you can see it's going on top there. And, boom. and that should make, if you look on the side with my right mouse button, it should make, see how there's part of the model underneath that plane there? So that's made the very top of this, the active plane. So double check, there's nothing on top. Yep, cool. So now I can bring my little hole tool over here. So this is a square hole. i am put it on top and just chuck it on top of that plane there. <clears throat> and then all I want to do is expand it out so it's covering that whole piece there. Oop. Make sure it's coming all the way back. Cool. So that's, co that's covering everything there that I want it to cover. And you can see it's not going into the underneath part there. Then I can make, if you click on the plane again, and then click on anywhere that's not an object, it'll make, it'll default back. And you can see that it's sitting on top of the object there. Now I want to merge those two together. So what's going to do is merge the solid bit with the whole bit, and the whole bit's incorporating all that solid bit up the top there, and it'll cut it off. So you select both of them. I'm not selecting this bit at the side here. I'm selecting those two. And up in the uh, right-hand side here, there's a group tool, so it's going to combine the two. And there we go. We've got our flat bit that we want. Now all I have to do is make, pull this up into a right angle and then chuck it on top of there. Okay, and it's got to go all over to the side sort of thing. So it comes, hang on, over to that side. Uh -oh. Goes down and it goes over that side. So we want to put this, want to select this, and if you select it, it does change what, what you can do depending on how you're looking at it. So I want to use this little, see this little two arrow thing? I want to use that to ride it up 90 degrees. Actually, it might go this way and ride up 90 degrees that way. And I want to go on that arrow. Now, if you if you move it, when it's outside here, it'll go, it'll jump in. See how it's 22.5 degrees it's jumping in. If you come up the top where the, all those little lines are, it'll go by one one degree each time. But we want to go to 90, so just boom, and chuck it on 90. 
and then we need to 90 that way. So I'll come and 90 this way. Cool. Now, it's sunken into the bed there, as you can see. What I want to do is lift it up. So I select, I select it again, and that little black arrow up the top there allows you to lift it up. And I want to sort of then move it this way and that way, so it's right on top of that hole that we've got to try and get. I'm just move, when I'm moving the whole bed around, I'm moving it with my right mouse button depressed. So you click down on your right mouse button and just move the mouse and let go when you when you stop to where you want to get be. So I want this to line up those two holes. And with your, I've got a mouse wheel. So with your mouse wheel, you can um, you can magnify it, or you can use a magnifying glass over on the right hand side here if you don't have a mouse wheel. Okay, so that looks pretty lined up. Now I've got to pull it down. So it doesn't matter if it goes in. I sort of prefer it to go into the bed a bit. Or into the object a bit that way it'll merge it properly you can see it's not quite it's not quite there with the liner so if you come down the bottom here on the bottom right beep, let me just move my mm, let me get rid of me hang on let me just move where i am beep. okay so if you come come down the bottom right here you'll see it's got snap grid and it's got some measurements here those are the measurements we're doing. So we're doing one millimetre at a time. I think I might go for a quarter of a millimetre at a time. And then I can move it a lot finer. Might go even more than that. <clears throat> and you can, if you turn it off, it'll go freehand. You can just move it wherever you want. But I'm thinking that's pretty, pretty spot on. Okay. So... I also want it to go in a sort of roughly the right angle, which is sort of going back over to this bit here. Looking at the um, looking at the printer, I want to get it in the best angle possible. So <clears throat> I want to rotate it this way. Ugh. Okay, I probably should have done that before I lined it up. <clears throat> There's probably a way of rotating it on the on where it is, but I don't know how to do that. The, I, I, all I did to learn Tinkercad, I hopped on and did a few uh, an hour or two online sessions, and it showed you enough to sort of get to what you want to do. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so that's it. That's my little piece that I'm going to print out and make sure I'm doing it right. Yep. That I'm going to print out and put on the printer. So what that should do is keep the angle nicely and this should lock it in place. So there's one, there's probably one, one more thing I want to do is just make sure it's all the way down the bottom now. I can, yeah, I can select it. Push it down a bit more. A bit, bit more. Yeah, I'll push it all the way down so it's the same height as what it would be if it was on just by itself. Yeah, okay. What I can probably do is just chop it off on the bottom there. Okay, so then I'll um, get this little block. So it can be a bit shallow. I don't care about being shallow. I care about it sticking up more though because then it'll hit the roof. And now I can merge them all together with the group tool. So the little block, all it's doing, I'll show you in it. So it's chopping the bottom off. So the bottom, the bottom is flat there. And I didn't need to do anything with the um, with the bed because it's already the default bed that I'm sitting everything on. <coughs> I had to do it before because I wanted to lay it on top of here and chop off that other bit. <coughs> That's it. That's Tinky Cad done. So now well, there's a matter of me putting it in and make sure it works. So let's get into doing that. Oh, actually, <laughs> better print it first. I'll print it and then I'll jump back on 
and um, and we'll, we'll we'll put it back on, uh, put it on the printer, and see if it works. Okay, guys. So she's all finished. As you can see, it's it's all done, all welded together. So what I like to do is get a um, this is a four and a half mil. It's a eleven sixty fourth in the uh, old Imperial, and just something that's that's just a tiny bit like the tiniest bit bigger than what the hole is the holes are like a four mil hole i think it is which is a 532nd hole and just at the very ends i just like to make them a bit easier that way the bowden tube will fit in a bit better and any stray bits on the end would be be done off now we can get straight into putting it on let's go to this view cool so what i want to do is take off that little Clip. not that I think it's doing much push down on the um, top get that out get my 3 mil allen wrench undo that okay so the um, Bowden tube fits in the top here like that thread it in and then it fits in to the extruder and then before you push it all the way down, put that blue clip back in. Hold that in place. Like so. Then this little hole, the square goes over that hole there. Push it in place. Like so. And then we need to just screw that back in place. Like this. So, it's all in place moves around okay all the way to that end all the way to this end that's all cool get out the plate oh, that side here chuck it on let's see what the clearance is like clearances oh that's a lot better cool so that works well excellent let's see if we can get filament in okay Some filament. Oh, got the filament in. Is that unlocked? No, there we go. Oh, that's locked. Unlock. Oh, I can feel it going in. Cool. And that's not coming out. Excellent. So that worked really well. So guys, if um, you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And I'd really appreciate a like. That'd be great. Um, don't forget, I've got um, the filament video coming up next. Um, we're going to test all the different filaments between the Bamboo Labs and the K1 Max. Uh, I just got in some that carbon, not carbon, that, what did I get in? nylon and uh, poly polycarbonate filament so i'll try them next and once they print it i'll produce a video so probably next day or two should have a video out okay thanks for joining guys i hope it helped um have a nice day